Hi guys, as you can tell I'm in the backyard right now, it's currently raining, but I have an umbrella over me, that's how the camera's staying dry. Here's the pool, right? Um, you know how I guys um, always talk about the pool sometimes, but um, something happened last night and it's not too good. I'm going to swing over here, look at this. Oh my god, see how much that's sagging down? Apparently, what's been going on is, um, uh, we got a ton of rain last night, and uh, Jay, uh, I know you can easily relate to this because you live in New York as well by, by um, 110 and everything. Um, we got so much rain last night that we got a lot of water on the cover, but the problem was the pool water was so low because there's some kind of leak in there apparently that it got the cover got so heavy, look at this. It pulled the anchors right out of the brick. Do you see that? Look at this. The, this one this one right here is fine. You see that? But look at this. It pulled them right out. These things go down deeper than the old ones did even when we had the brick replaced. Do you see this? And look at this seam. It even shifted a section of the brick. Do you see that large seam? My god. Look at this. That cut the, the skimmer. The skimmer's not damaged, thankfully. That's only the top part. I looked into that, so that's good. But look at this. This tells you just how. And what I'm doing right now is I'm putting water in the pool right now. There's that green hose right there, and I'm not. I'm not really concerned about the hose freezing or anything because it's going to be about 60 degrees today, which is unseasonably warm. Well, maybe not, but anyway, um, it's good in that sense. We don't have to worry about. Um, the hose freezing and get some more water in the pool. This sagging will get a lot less as the pool gets more water, but um, like I said, it just got so low to the point where, um, in, where that the cover sagged like this, and you don't you don't even see it sag normally when um, there's no water on it because it's not that heavy. But look at it from this angle. You can even see some of the tile is. Um, is uh, exposed there as you can see so yeah this is uh it's, it's uh, pretty bad thankfully those anchors are the only ones that are damaged all of these are still intact as you can see and so is the um and so is the brick on this side so that's good all this is still intact thankfully so amazingly the cover itself didn't rip which is good because you know these covers aren't these types of covers aren't cheap but um so what's going to happen is there's water like i said there's water going into the pool by that hose right there right now so that'll bring the water up and so like i said even even when the even when this thing is full of water when the when the pool has a really high water level the, the cover doesn't sag nearly as much so there's a lot less stress on these things and I'm hoping those the, the stones along the edge there are okay because that holds the track for the solar solar cover that you guys um, see every now and then in the, in the summer. So, so yeah, um, if you can, you know, check your water level once in a while because um, this uh, stuff like this can happen. And I, I know they sell these covers. Um, um, the type that water can go through it so you know you don't, you don't have to put a pump on it like we do but at the same time that lets more dirt into the pool and everything so I guess that's why my parents went with this one and like I said this, this is all my parents call you know they, they decide what to do but um we're gonna have to get this fixed as you can see uh, that this is this is just insane I mean for how deep these things went in and how and just how powerful this thing was that it pulled all them up look at look at this this one completely flipped over do you see that Wow, so yeah, gonna have to need some repair work done. I'll probably look at this. This thing. Wait, look at this. This anchor isn't even. It's it's even in place. So the. Oh Jesus! Look at that. The, the metal thing completely snapped apart. Do you see that? Completely bent. Completely bent out. So you can tell just how powerful this thing was. Oh man. So yeah. I'll probably make a follow-up video or something um, when the pool guys come and um, they could probably come reset the cover because like I said well, when the water is a lot higher the cover um, even even with water on it, it still has a lot more slack so um, or I guess that's what you call it slack or not as much sagging but you can see wow this really um, this really got pulled on hard and like I said thankfully as you can see most of the cover is still in place 
so that's good but um this is really gonna have to get taken care of this is um just insane so just goes to show you guys how powerful these things can be and uh, look at that one of the anchors i think is on the cover itself yeah there's that little uh little horizontal thing right there you see that wow so yeah i'll probably make another video um when they fix this maybe i will i don't know and then my parents did say in the spring we're gonna have to get someone to look at the pool and see if they can find out where the leak was because uh the marble dusting was redone in 2007 and that's how that would be six that well uh, this this spring that'll be eight years so um eight years no hold on that would be seven years i'm sorry that'd be seven years um so we'll just have to see where it goes so um there you have it guys all right kind of a Kind of a hassle, but you know, just um, glad it's above freezing right now, and I can get some water in the pool. So I mean, that's good. So yeah, hopefully um, things will get a little bit better from here, you know. But I just can't believe how it even shifted some of the brick, as you can see by that big seam. Yeah. So um, all right, guys, there you have it. Um, hopefully we'll get this taken care of as soon as we can, and um, I will see you later.